up guys, True Parashat here once again, and today I'm bringing you guys a, a bit of a news update on um, Inazuma 11. Now, actually, the Inazuma 11 anime, I was actually, I didn't even realize this was a thing. Well, I didn't know the anime was a thing, but I didn't realize that there was news about it. I didn't realize that was a thing. But, um, yeah, so earlier in October, well, the start of October anyway, uh, it was announced that Inazuma 11's uh, new anime is going to be called, uh, what is it called? It's like Outer Code. Uh, yes, and the first episode actually airs uh, later this week on November the 4th, which is pretty crazy considering that we haven't gotten anything new in Isma wise like, for, like, three years now? I can't, I can't it's either, it's three or four years, I'm pretty sure Galaxy, the last, in Isma 11 Galaxy came out in 2013 and the anime finished in 2014, so... Yeah, we haven't really gotten anything crazy like that. Now, um, I wasn't expecting it to be called Outer Code. Um, that's pretty cool, but I'll just read what it is. The official website for Inazuma 11's soccer role-playing game, um, playing game franchise announced on Wednesday that a new original game, um, anime, sorry, Inazuma 11 Outer Code will stream its first episode on November 4th. The franchise's official Twitter account also teases that the um, Fubiki Brothers will appear in the first episode, so that's pretty cool. So let's just click on these links here. See what this is. Uh, so this is Twitter here. So should I follow these guys on Twitter? Of course we do. We follow Inazuma Official. So uh, I don't really know. Oh, here it is. Hmm. You gotta figure. Oh, so it's streaming on YouTube. Okay. And what's this? Oh, I'm literally just like. Is it Eleven Walker? What? I'm like literally just surprised that this is happening. Pretty. Soon. So I essentially just click the same thing like three times in a row. So this is the website. Some of them. Yeah, this is... Alrighty, so the Nintendo Switch was recently announced. I'm pretty sure that Inazuma 11 RS, which is the name of the next Inazuma 11 games, 100% coming out on um, the Nintendo Switch. So this is the uh, website for it. Um, I wonder if there's going to be... Yeah, so that's going to be... I'm going to probably do a review on the first episode, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what else is in this article? The stream will be part of the regular Inazuma Walker, pro Inazuma Walker program, whose Volume 1 episode will debut on blah blah blah. In addition to the anime, Inazuma Walker offers news on the franchise and the segment for viewer interaction. Alrighty, so it's... That's interesting. I wonder how long these episodes are going to be then, though. I wonder if it's going to be, like, 20-minute episodes. Or shorter, because it's... Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't expect them... I just presume it was going to be on regular TV, not like, oh yeah, this is a part of our own thing. This is sort of like the Pokemon thing, how they have in Japan, how there's like an hour show just dedicated to talking about new stuff with Pokemon and that. That's pretty interesting. Okay. But the cool thing I found out as well, that um, I found on this article here. Um, actually, Liz, okay. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, right, this is super interesting. Kira Hiroto. So, uh, basically, um, so what it says here... Kira Hiromoto, who was presumed dead, to be dead, actually lives. So this is, um, the... So basically, the second uh, Inazuma 11 was based on the aliens, and one of the best characters, Kiyo, uh, Kiyoma Hiroto, or however you say his name, oh, we're just going to look it up real quickly. Hiroto. Uh, yeah, this guy here. Kiyama Hiroto. This guy, which is one of my favorite characters, uh, got his name after... Or is it? Does it have relatives here? No. I'm trying to find. It probably would be down in uh, trivia. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, here's the first character. Well, yeah. Alrighty. Wait. No, it's a bit weird. But anyway, yeah. Basically, his um father, which is uh this guy, I presume, could he said what well, anyway. Uh, he died, and that was his father here. This guy. Yeah, that that's his father, which is the guy. Where's the tab? If I can find, it was this one here. So yeah, that's his father there. But this character was thought dead, uh, Kira Hiroto, and then Kiyama, oh, Hiroto here, which is the Hiroto we all know and personally love, <laughs> um, we got named after him. So the fact that this character is back alive is pretty interesting, and he looks pretty weird, according to that leak there, so it's pretty damn cool. Um, yeah, anyway, is there anything else here, or... New character shown above and probably be able to use yeah, this guy can just use the wall, it's whatever. Anyway, this is the cool thing I saw. So Fudo is uh, gonna be part of the anime. Um don't know how it's gonna happen, but it looks pretty cool. But um I'm pretty hyped about this. Anyway, right now the first season is eleven blah blah, blah aliens of Rai. We'll get an alternate version called another episode twenty seven. Alrighty. So I 
The first season of Inazuma Eleven's anime episode. Wait, the first season of Inazuma Eleven. The, yeah, the first season of the Inazuma Eleven animes episode 20, 27 titled The Aliens Have Arrived will get an alternate version called Another Episode 27, which is currently in production. This episode will be connected to the upcoming Inazuma Eleven RS anime. Interesting. In addition to the RS anime, a completely new anime called Inazuma... Alrighty, so this is completely separate. Alrighty. That's super interesting. Production. This will be a short series, short stories of about five minutes per episode, and will be shown during the monthly Inazuma Walker program. The keyword for the first. Alrighty, alrighty. This is this got super interesting now. So, it's literally a continuation from the previous anime, like a hundred percent. Like this is why it's got another episode twenty-seven. This Inazuma Eleven Outer Code stuff is just completely separate. So this is sort of like Pokemon Generations. Like I know I'm referencing Pokemon a lot, but this is. Uh, there's so many similarities, in my opinion, between Inazuma 11 and Pokemon. But there's also 11. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, that's super interesting. So this is basically going to give us some insight about the Fubiki brothers and what it, what happened between the two. Like, it's probably going to go into the accident, or if the accident didn't happen, that um, originally killed uh, Fubiki Asto and his family. That's that's crazy. So yeah, uh, that's cool. So it's going to be like five minute discussions then. It's probably going to be... So in this per in his relevant outer code, because this is, it's literally super similar to the outer stuff, but it's not, um, like the ma the new anime. This is just like stories that we're, they're not going to show in the anime. Just to give us some. This is essentially just like five minute episode hypes of Inazuma for um in his relevant RS. This is. I highly doubt they're going to go in this outer code. They're not going to show anything of the new characters. That they're going to save that for RS or however you say it. But, um, what I predict is going to happen with this, they're going to showcase, uh, obviously the main, in the first episode, it's even going to the Fubiki Brothers, that's the first thing. Uh, they're going to show Endo, Goenji, Kido, um, and as well as Fudo, because he's a thing, he's going to be probably related to, uh, Kido somehow, because that's, like, the easiest thing they can do. And then they're going to show, uh, Kira, who, uh, just, yeah, they're going to show him off. And then probably towards the end, when it, in his, the actual anime is going to debut, they're going to showcase, um... Some more, um, what do you want to call it? Some of the new characters and that. Give us some, like, a backstory to those characters before the actual anime starts. So that's pretty cool that they're doing that. But, like, literally, this is so damn similar to Inazuma, um, not, sorry, to Pokemon Generations, which is essentially, like, stories from the games that we didn't get to find out about or learn about, and that they're putting in anime form. So that's just, honestly, I think that's crazy that, um, Level 5 is doing this. I think this is super hype as well, though. Like, um, let's close these tabs that we don't need. I've got so many tabs. That's the website. I'm um, pretty sure I've got the same tab open twice. Yeah, I do. Alrighty, so let's click on these links now. Let's see what this is. Alrighty, so this is just like where it streams, time shift. And then there's like, alrighty, so four days. So we're going to quickly subscribe to level five, Chan. And it's 49 likes already. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch this live. Just because of the fact that, um... Oh, let's pause that real quickly. Let's click on videos. Oh, uh, yeah, so it is more of an RS is there. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to watch this um, live. It just depends on what time it is. Uh, what time did it say here? It is more of a walker. It says four days. November. Oh, I might be able to watch it live. If it's actually that time for me at 4 p.m. Um, 11 p.m., sorry. I'll definitely be able to watch that. But, um... Yeah, my thoughts on this? This is literally... Just straight out of Pokemon, like, <laughs> just 100%. Literally, Inazuma and Outer Code is the equivalent of Pokemon Generations, which is pretty troll, but I, I can't complain. This is, it's nice to get some Inazuma content. Alrighty, sorry about that. Um, anyway, what I was saying was that literally this is the equivalent of Pokemon Generations. I can't complain. It's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so the main series hasn't been announced yet, but we get these five-minute little, five little teasers, and they're probably going to show off some uh, more stuff of the game. Maybe might be able to get some gameplay. One thing I'm expecting is I'm just expecting them to announce that um, it's for the Nintendo Switch, like the game tomorrow during this Inazuma Eleven Walker program, whatever it's called. Like if they don't announce it for the um, the Switch tomorrow, the Nintendo Switch, I'm gonna be pretty surprised on on November the fourth, which is Thursday. I think it's at all Thursday. I can't, I can't remember where it is. Stream. Click on YouTube Live because this is super good. Yeah, and how long does it go for? Goes for... It doesn't really give a time. It just goes for whenever. But yeah, November 4th. Pretty sure that's... 
Thursday? No, I think it's what. No, it's Friday. It's Friday night. And then I can't watch it. I'm busy Friday night. So, uh, yeah, we might be getting. I might do a review on this on Saturday, Sunday. But anyway, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed my little discussion on this. Hopefully, this is interest. Um, hopefully, the anime thing is shows off to be pretty cool. But yeah, um, that's all for today. I'll see you all next time. It's True Parachet signing out. Peace.